I'm just ready for something. Let's just make sure we don't accidentally have this like muted. Okay, cool. Damn, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, boys. Damn. Super excited. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Next part of this. <laughs> you coming, buddy? Touch. In the late 1800s, America was evolving on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. So this commentary like the GTA 5 game we're With Red cool. Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games Damn, aims to create dude, you a see this? world that's Holy not simply hell. open. But deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy. Yeah, that's Why what I was thinking from the trailer. There's gonna be a lot more melee in this game. Storytelling. We need to get those people warm. Dude, this Let's looks head. crazy good. And gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, cool. and fight to survive. It's a dead eye. As we already knew that was coming back. In a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm Bill happy. Williamson, I think, right there. Yeah. So we're gonna get part two today? The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge Dude, world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails Holy and dense forests I to not. untamed That's not gonna get old. and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more. All populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn of the century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling gang. A band of outlaws and outcasts on the John run from the of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once. That's Javier on the left, I think. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and cool, share so stories. Back. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So. Save the silly bastard's life, and you and him go This is also like a complete upgrade Helping from what they've done in the past. supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble Actually, with the, the green local tough guy. Yeah. Thing. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself and that's, in this. Confrontations cool. can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you we heard about this in like the you can previews. Uh, now we can actually see it. Or that's make cool. enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch. Your actions have consequences, oh, and it's shit. up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action. In a just imagine like comparing this from the original Red Dead, like how far they've come in just like eight years. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. 
Yeah, he's a great horse. So there's a lock on so still at the end from the old games. But I'm cool. A rich a and varied ecosystem thrives Maybe in the not. world, full of predators, <laughs> prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is I'm liking all this, country, for sure. And I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. Clearly. <laughs> all designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across Reminds America. me of like the premiere trailer when they had the trailer one, when they're all running together. That's cool. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, Damn it. robberies, other things to do, that. and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Damn, so they're gonna leave us there and we're gonna have to wait for part two. Are they gonna give us like a date for part two or are we just gonna have to wait? Damn. I was happy with that. I mean, we got gameplay, which is something I've always wanted, but damn, I would like to see the activities and crap. Missed the